It is a time called the Eocene, and Earth has healed itself from the ravages of the massive meteor strike. Much has changed since the time of the dinosaurs. It is far hotter now, and lush tropical rainforest has sprung up on every continent from the Arctic to Antarctica. In this flowering new Eden, meteors no longer present as much of a threat. Under the forest canopy thrives a menagerie of weird and wonderful creatures. Here, the rule of scaly reptiles is a distant memory. The animals that dominate now are covered in feathers or fur. Mammals have adapted well to the new world and there is a staggering variety of them, but they are still small and, as before, live under the shadow of bigger, deadlier animals. Dinosaurs might be long gone, but they left the world a vicious legacy. Their direct descendants are the birds. For the first and only time in its history, birds rule the earth. first brush with death. This is a female Leptictidium. She is a meter long and a common sight in the forests of 50 million years ago. Her kind have survived virtually unchanged since the time of the dinosaurs. Life, though, is scarcely any easier now. This is still a perilous world where she must live fast and will probably die young. A typical mammal, she looks after her offspring until they are old enough to fend for themselves. But with so many predators about, today is a bad day for her litter to leave the nest. She, however, has to feed, whatever the risk. She only has a short window of opportunity to do so, and that window is fading fast. The cool early morning is an ideal time to catch the frogs, lizards and insects she feeds on. Being cold-blooded, they have yet to warm up and are still sluggish. She, however, is warm-blooded and fast-moving 24 hours a day. This is one of the mammal's ancient advantages. 